This is Praz with PointGuardU.com and we are here in U.S. Airways Center uh, with Channing Fry, fresh off of a new contract, five years for the hometown Phoenix Suns. Channing, uh, congratulations. It's been quite a year for you from getting your jersey retired uh, to, to this. Just tell us a little bit about what the last, for the Western Conference Finals. Man, it's, what, been what a, it's been, uh, like it's been a crazy, know? crazy year, man. I think uh, you can't really, you know, plan it all that good stuff coming, but, you know, when it does, you just appreciate it. You try to grow from it. and. Uh, you know, you take the good like you take the bad, uh, you know, but you try to just, like I said, grow. You try to get better, and uh, it's just motivation for me this year just to continue to uh, challenge myself every day and, and to just to uh, to just become the person I think I could be, and there's a fly right there. But, uh, you know, I got a kid on the way, and, you know, back at home, and uh, being around family and friends, it's just really going to help me out to... Uh, to just play the best in the golly world. <laughs> uh, so if you if you look back a little farther to when you were since you were drafted, 05 to the Knicks, eighth, a lot like Jordan Hill. Yeah. Um, what's the journey been like? And now that you actually have that contract, what what would you say to Jordan or some other U of A fans? Or you know what? Players? Just stick with us, man. You never know what might happen, man. You know when I uh, had a great year, the first year in New York. Uh, the second year wasn't too bad, but I was coming off an injury and we had changed systems, and then. Uh, getting traded, stuff happens like that to guys. So uh, for Jordan, I just say keep your head up, man. Just keep working. I think everything happens for a reason. So, um, you know, he's in a great system in, in Houston. And, you know, no matter what happens, whether he gets traded, whether he doesn't play this year, just keep working. I think people will see that. And you'll just uh, just appreciate the game a lot more for what it is and, and uh, really just kind of grow as a person just to understand that, you know, things aren't always going to go your way. But if you continue to do what's right and do the right things and, and be the – the right type of person you're gonna to uh, be successful. Now you just got the contract, so obviously the next step is the ring. And, yeah. Uh, and now Luke just added one. Yeah. Uh, is, gosh, is, what's, man. The, what's the friendly competition like between alumni? Yeah, it's Does ridiculous. he remind you between, of that? You know, uh, yeah. Oh, all the time. <laughs> Every time, you know, it's, that sucker is huge. So it's like this, and so he'll come to dinner and tap it on the on the <clears throat> on the table and all this other stuff. So uh, Luke Richard or Luke Richard and I just really kind of well Richard and I really kind of just ignore him and all those all that gloating but you know hey he earned it he uh he helped the team out you know i think he's been there for you know what this six seven years now so for him um it's all about winning it's all about just continuing to to, to be a better player and, and i think he just contributes in his own way it may not be in a stat sheet but you know hey once you're part of the team you're part of the team right now uh, when coach sean miller got hired he remarked about when you turn on the TV, it's like a commercial for the U of A. When yeah. you're watching NBA games, there's guys everywhere. Guys that used to be on the bench yeah. in Tucson are now stars. So now that you're in Phoenix for the long term, uh, what do you foresee that doing? I mean, he's recruiting Phoenix really hard. There's a couple guys. Just the Arizona influence that you're going to have uh, and how it's going to give back. You know to what? Phoenix. Arizona is just a family, man. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I was in Hawaii, and you know, Hawaii is not that far away from from Arizona, but. Still, their U of A alumni is riding hard out there. So for me, uh, just being part of this U of A family is huge. And for kids that want to go there, um, just being a part of the next generation is, is huge. I, I would say take advantage of it, man. Being from U of A, you, you're, we're one of us for life. And so um, we're always going to gonna have that, that connection no matter what. You know, Jordan Hill, uh, Jared, Jason Terry, I mean, Gilbert, Richard, Luke, Andre, me. Uh, gosh, who am I missing? Bibby. Yeah, Bibby. <laughs> you know, it, it's just like every night you're playing the U of A guy. So it, it's uh, be part of the be part of the family, man. Why not? You know, it's uh, there's, there's no other town that like it, and uh, you're not gonna get any other type of support and type of fan base like you are from U of A. Uh, any thoughts on the first season? Obviously, it was rough. In terms <laughs> yeah, of it's rough. But you know what? Grow with them, man. I think the more support you show them, the more they're gonna appreciate uh, the opportunity that they have playing. I think you know what? When they do get good. They're gonna get very good because they're gonna they're gonna appreciate the fans for sticking with them, and, and I think the country is gonna see that that U of A fans are real, not just kind of fair weather fans. It's easy to cheer when you have five NBA right. players, but you know when your team is growing up and when they're young, uh, when a coach is trying to get his own players in there and trying to get his own system oh established God. and recruit, um, <laughs> grow with them, man, support them, just oh, be fanatical. It, why not? You know why not? Be part of the 
you part of the first year of ever be like, hey, I remember we weren't any good, and then now I remember we're winning the Pac-10. So, you know, just be part of that. Be part of the family, man. Now, speaking of the family, you said you got to spend some time with Luke and White. <coughs> yeah. Uh, what was that like? I know our fans great. are curious. Oh, great. Coach Oak's doing great. You know, um, I was out there with him and his wife, and just great people, man. I love kids. It was actually one of the first times I've ever kicked with Coach Oak for like five days straight. So, uh, you know, we, we went to dinner a bunch of times. He just still loves basketball, still loves uh, coaching, being around the kids. And so, you know, just uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy he's doing well. His health is doing great. Play golf two or three times, and you know, just still working out, still a bear. So, uh, you know, just, uh, just you know, hey, Coach O is Coach O, man. He uh, forever living. <laughs> and lastly, uh, we know you have a lot of events coming up. Uh, we have members from all over the country, so take a moment to plug them all so that we can get out there and support you guys. You know what? I think the best thing to do would be to check out uh, ChaningFry.com. I haven't really updated my blog lately. I've been running around doing this stuff, but um, you know, I have to apologize for that. But I'm definitely going to get onto it uh, this weekend and. Uh, but the thing I have today is uh, I have a uh, Grand Canyon University. I have my own basketball tournament, the Seafire Invitational, and uh, got a, all the proceeds for anything I do. Always go to Everest Youth Kids um, in, in, in promoting fitness and, and health, well-being through basketball. I think it helped me. It's it's awesome. You know, it's it's an easy thing to get in shape with and. Uh, you know, I also have a kickball tournament August 21st. We're going to get that website going. It's in Portland. So uh, we got some stuff going, man. It's going to be fun. Excellent. I know uh, U of A's a big support of the Boys and Girls Club. Joe yeah, Blair yeah. this year. Sean yeah. Miller's doing the dinner. Yeah. Um, and you were working with them in Hawaii. Yeah, I worked so. with them in Hawaii. I did my camp. So it's just great to be a part of that. Great. Thanks a lot, Thank Kenny. you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.